common form of an adult focal seizure is that of a mesiotemporal lobe seizure, and these are generally recognizable by their fairly characteristic aura, which may be some sort of sensation of a butterfly in the stomach or the chest, or perhaps a psychic phenomenon, such as the uh, characteristic deja vu, where they have, think that they've been there before, or the opposite, jamais vu, or even some emotional sensations, such as a fear. Uh, if those mesiotemporal epilepsies have a dominant lobe focus, then they will invariably be uh, associated with a loss of awareness, such that they won't be able to respond, and they won't remember any of the events which occurred during the actual seizure. And other phenomenon which then occur with the seizure are automatisms. They um, can include oral automatisms, which are either lip smacking, a chewing motion, or perhaps a swallowing motion, or in their limbs, the automatisms can uh, manifest with some sort of uh, fumbling movements of their hands. Now, if the mesiotemporal epilepsy happens in the non-dominant hemisphere, they will, in fact, be able to respond and um, remember the events which occurred. And so that doesn't rule out that it's a mesiotemporal epilepsy. Um, these used to be called uh, complex partial seizures, of course, and they may end up with secondary generalization into a tonic-clonic seizure, usually late into the seizure itself. The interictal EEG, i.e. the EEG obtained while the patient is not having a seizure, is often positive in mesiotemporal focal epilepsy, and it shows spikes and sharp waves in the anterior temporal regions, whereas during the seizure itself, there's the preceding epileptiform discharge, and then rhythmic theta spike wave activity, which then may spread to the other side. The imaging of choice we've discussed previously, and coronal views are best used to look for mesial temporal sclerosis, i.e. hippocampal sclerosis, gliosis, and or atrophy of the hippocampus. The other uh, focal lesions are also within the differential diagnosis. The so-called lateral temporal lobe epilepsies will lack those characteristic aura features that one sees in a mesial temporal lobe epilepsy. And in fact, the lateral temporal lobe has rich connections with the frontal, parietal, and occipital cortices, and so can have a variety of manifestations, two of which are fairly characteristic. One is uh, there may be auditory hallucinations um, if the activation is from Heschel's gyrus, or there can even be an aphasic type seizure during which the patient is awake and alert but cannot follow commands. Now this latter seizure type goes against the general rule that seizures cause a positive phenomenon, i.e. motor jerking or whatever, as opposed to TIAs which produce negative phenomenon or a lack of a certain ability. So a lateral temporal lobe seizure which produces an aphasia is actually producing a negative type of a symptom but is in fact a seizure. Frontal lobe epilepsies may have multiple different types of motor involvement and there may be actually many different manifestations of different portions of the frontal lobe. For example, the perirolandic cortex will produce either simple clonic or tonic clonic seizures with activation of the motor homunculus whereas a mesiofrontal lobe epilepsy can involve the supplementary sensory motor cortex and produce bilateral motor and sensory signs. So if a patient has bilateral motor activity and preservation of awareness, possibly with a negative EEG, a lot of the times these people are diagnosed with having pseudo-seizures
because of the general rule known within neurology that with bilateral motor involvement there is invariably reduction in loss of consciousness because of the degree of cortical involvement. Well, this mesiofrontal lobe epilepsy breaks all of those rules and is obviously very difficult to diagnose potentially. Finally, in the dorsolateral cortex and frontal pole seizures, these are characterized by staring out and unresponsiveness without automatisms and may be difficult to distinguish from multiple other seizure types. Another localization or category of diagnostic confusion can occur with parietal and occipital lobe epilepsies given their rich connections with the temporal lobes and with the frontal lobes. In occipital lobe epilepsies frequently there are visual symptoms with uh, auras such as flashing lights or visual spots uh, as a positive phenomenon, but they may be misrecognized as being the um, aura of a migraine headache. Um, possibly they may have loss of vision, whereas in the parietal lobe epilepsy, predominantly the somatosensory cortex is involved, and therefore numbness and tingling and dysesthesias may occur as their manifestation. So-called insular cortex focal epilepsies may have seizures which are described as being painful with aura perhaps felt as a throat closing or difficulty in breathing. These are very difficult to localize and surface electrodes may show false localization over the other lobes of the brain and therefore may uh, result in misdiagnosis or treatment.